how to use touchpad gestures on Windows 11. For that, let's go to settings. In settings, you want to go to Bluetooth and devices. And then in here, you can just go and scroll down to touchpad. Click on touchpad. And here you can see we have a lot of options. So let's understand how these works. We have gestures and interaction over here. So we have tabs. So what does this do? It's going to have uh, medium sensitivity by default. So single tap uh, to single click two fingers to right click and everything. These are the standard tabs, that's fine. We have scroll and zoom. We have drag two fingers to scroll. So I am currently using a touchpad. And if I move my fingers from bottom to up, it will actually scroll up. And if I move it the opposite direction, it's going to actually scroll down. And we have pinch to zoom as well. So if I'm viewing a photo or something like that, I can just pinch to zoom and it's going to zoom in or zoom out. Then we have three fingers and four finger gestures. I think these are the most useful ones. So here, let's go to three finger gestures. As you can see, I have set it to change audio and volume. So if I scroll up, it's going to uh, turn up the volume. If I scroll down, it's going to turn down the volume and it's going to change tracks over here. So if I swipe left, it's going to change to the previous track. And if I swipe right, it's going to change to the next track so here i'm going to with my three fingers show you if i swipe up here you can see the volume bar comes up if i swipe down it's going to reduce the volume and then with three fingers if i just tap it's going to actually play or pause whatever video or audio that i'm listening to i can also change this i can just have it to switch apps between desktops so if i now swipe up it's going to give me a multitasking view if i swipe down it's going to go to desktop that might be useful for some of you and it's going to switch apps uh, here you can see I'm using OBS right now so it's going to switch apps like so but I prefer it uh, with the audio then we have four finger gestures these are basically the same gestures but with four fingers and here you can see I've actually used it uh, to switch between desktops so if I just scroll up with four fingers it's going to give me a multitasking view if I just scroll down with four fingers it's going to give me uh, the desktop view and you might know the mouse middle button is the most useful button just to open new websites on your browser in a new tab and you don't have to uh, do the right click and then go and select it. So I can just use four fingers, tap on it and it is done. Then you can also go to advanced gestures over here. Basically it's the same thing that we just saw but at the uh, glance so it's very easy to view and understand. So that is how you use it. You don't have to uh, do much. It's not rocket science. Once you get used to it, uh, it's very easy. Uh, so yeah, if you have liked the video, do drop a like, share and subscribe.